Why don't I know more about this? Is a common statement I get from homeowners. Hi, my name is Dr. Richard A. Cassidy. I'm a toxicologist with research expertise in neurotoxicology and immunotoxicology. I'm a leading expert on the health effects of chloridane, heptachlor, and aldrin. For a complete list, see toxfree.net on the web. If you live in a house built before 1990, this video is for you. The Environmental Protection Agency has determined that over 30 million homes have been treated with chloridane for termite protection from the 1950s until being banned in 1988. Of these treated homes, high levels of chloridane in home air are found when chloridane was applied under the basement floor, under the concrete slab, or under the crawl space. Lower levels, however, are found when chloridane was applied only to the soil outside the foundation. This graph compares the concentration of chloridane in the air of homes that I measured in the last five years with the Centers for Disease Control minimum risk level for diseases. Over 30% of the air samples had chloridane levels 20 times the minimum risk levels. Occupants of these homes reported high incidence of diseases. EPA sampled 500 homes in 2005 and 2006 and found that 70% of these homes had detectable levels of cis and trans chloridane. Chloridane, heptachlor, aldrin, and their stable epoxides are highly lipophilic. These banned insecticides accumulate in occupants over time, increasing the risk of disease. Chloridane related insecticides affect three systems of the body the nervous system, immune, and reproductive. The immune system is affected by the lowest level, causing sinusitis, bronchitis, and asthma. The nervous system is affected by intermediate and higher levels, resulting in anxiety and depression. Cancers are caused by chloridane induction of oxidants from immune cells, causing prostate, breast, brain cancers, leukemias, and lymphomas. The route of exposure to chloridane is by inhalation. Only by sampling the air can chloridane concentration and the health risk be determined. Test of chloridane in soil or furnace filters is a waste of time and money. The sampling and analytical procedure for measuring chloridane levels in the air of homes uses EPA validated methods. Homeowners save hundreds of dollars in sampling fees by taking their own air sample. I have measured the levels of chloridane in over 500 homes and have correlated air, chloridane air concentration with the diseases described by the occupants of these homes. Since chloridane is a gas and if used equally throughout each level of your home, one sample on the ground floor is usually sufficient to determine your health risk. I do recommend, however, an additional sample if your basement is a living space or if you know that your chloridane is coming from your crawl space. Sure, an adequate sample. Do not allow windows or doors to, be, to stand open 40 hours prior to sampling. When you receive the sampling kit from Toxfree, you will find five items inside. A sampling pump, sampling tubes, an AC adapter, which is recommended but not required, the simple steps for taking the sample, and a FedEx return label. To take the sample, simply take out the sampling tube from its protective cover, and on one end you'll find a darkened area. Place your fingers close to that end. Introduce it to the top of the pocket pump, and slide down the face cover. Push the two outer buttons at the same time, you will hear the motor turn on, the display will read zero, allow the, the pump to pump for 100 minutes, and at 100, push the two buttons together at the same time again, it will turn off the pump. If you have a second location in your house that you want to sample, simply take off that tube and place the second tube on the pump at that location, and Repeat the process, allowing it to run from 100 minutes to 200 minutes. To return to Toxfree, Toxfree for analysis, simply return all sampling media to the, to the kit, replace the FedEx shipping label, and drop it by any Kinko's or FedEx drop box. Within one to three days of receiving the kit back from you, I'll analyze your sample using gas chromatograph equipped with electron, very sensitive and selective electron capture detector. After comparing your levels with certified standards for these 
ban insecticides, I will call you and tell you three things. One, the concentration of each of these insecticides in the air of your home. Two, compare your levels with minimum risk levels for cancer and neurological and immunological diseases published by EPA and the Centers for Disease Control. And three, <clears throat> describe diseases from, uh, from other homeowners with similar concentrations of these banned insecticides. And finally, I'll help you select the best approach for removing these insecticides from the air of your home. Contact me using the details on the screen to find out how I can help you make sure your home is safe for your family.